In this video, I want to show a method of aligning the bridge to the proper place on the head. Now, the bridge is a free-floating item. It's not affixed to the head in any way. Uh, the only thing keeping it there is the downward pressure of the strings pressing it down onto the head and keeping it from moving. But it can move, and uh, the bridge, in order for the banjo to tune properly and to hold a tune, has to be in precisely the right location. And um, there's a method that I use called the harmonics method, and uh, it involves one skill, being able to make a harmonic chime at the 12th fret. And if you don't know how that's done, what we do is just place a fingertip, lightly touch the string right above the 12th fret, we're not pressing it down, we're just lightly touching it, and then we pluck the string. You can take your hand away, and that thing rings. That's a harmonic chime. Okay. You can do the same thing on the first string, too. Just lightly touch it. That is in comparison to a fretted by pressing it down at the 12th fret. Now, you can notice that my right hand, I'm, I'm muting the surrounding strings. The reason being that if you don't do that, the surrounding strings will vibrate in sympathy with the, the string you pick and will create a lot of overtones and muddy the sound of the note you're trying to hear you need to get a nice clean note so you can really hear the difference between the fretted and the harmonic. And now, which brings me to the main per way we do this, is we compare the fretted note at the 12th fret to the harmonic note at the 12th fret. And there's a little memory aid, a little phrase, fretted flat forward, that tells us that if the fretted note at the 12th fret is flat or lower in pitch compared to the harmonic, then the bridge needs to move forward, forward being towards the, the, the neck. So fretted, flat, well, so I'm fretted flat forward. Now, if it's fretted is not flat, rather if it's sharp, higher in pitch, then the bridge needs to go the opposite direction, backwards, towards the tailpiece. If the fretted note and the harmonic are exactly the same in unison pitch, the bridge is in the right place. So that's the whole method. Now, I'm going to throw this bridge out a little bit, just kind of give it a twist and throw it out of whack. And now I'm going to use that method, the harmonics method, to bring it back in tune, into the right place, rather. Now, when working with the fourth string, I, to mute the surrounding strings, I just put the thumb, lay it on the fifth string, and the string three, two, and one, just lay your pinky of the left hand across the strings. That's how I do it. Now the only string that's not muted is that fourth string. That's the only string that'll resonate. So we can take now, we take, I always do the uh, harmonic first, then the fretted note, and listen very carefully for any difference. Harmonic, fretted, so. And the fretted note is just a little bit flat. So fretted flat forward, it's got to move forward. What we do, move the bridge, you grab the uh, right hand thumb and index on the bass side, left hand thumb and index on the treble, and just move it forward just a wee bit, sixteenth of an inch, eighth of an inch tops. Then mute your strings again and chime note, then fret it. Still, the fretted note is still flat compared to the harmonic, so fretted flat forward, move the bridge forward. Mute the strings, then chimed and fretted. That's real nice. That's unison tones. So harmonic and the fretted are exactly the same. The bass side is in place. Now, try to do that with the treble side by, by just checking the first string. And again, mute the surrounding strings. Just lay your right hand thumb on those strings and get a first string harmonic and fretted. Fretted note is slightly sharp. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's slightly sharp. So that means fretted flat forward, fretted sharp backwards. And you just don't want to move that bass side. So grab that bridge as before and just try to pivot the, the treble side backwards just a little bit. 
keeping the bass side in place and try it. Now again, mute your strings and then chimed and fretted on the first string, 12th fret. If anything, it's the fretted is just a little bit flat, so I'll just try to bring it forward a bit. I'm going to call those two unison. So now it's technically I've got the bass and the treble side both in position, but I've got to recheck that bass just in case I moved it during all that. So again, mute the strings, five, three, two, and one and do a chime at the uh, 12th fret, followed by a fretted note at the 12th. Yeah. Where'd you go? Sounds pretty good to me. Uh, you can drive yourself crazy trying to figure out is this higher or is that lower, but that sounds pretty good. First string again. Pretty darn good. I'm calling that unison. There's only one other thing to check now. Let's make sure that the strings are running straight down the center of the neck, that the bridge isn't skewed one way or another. So I just take my right hand thumb and index, place them on the bass and treble side of the neck, and feel the fifth and first strings in relation to the edges of the neck. And if one feels closer to the edge than the other, then the bridge is skewed and it needs to be moved. You just grab that bridge, thumb and middle on bass and treble side, and just slide it to the side it needs to go and uh, and that's that's it that's how you align that bridge now this bridge is in perfect place this banjo will tune properly and hold a tune at this point I would strongly suggest taking a pencil and just drawing a line on right on the banjo head right along the foot of the bridge on the forward side on the bass side and again right along the foot at the treble side then in the future, you can just visually check to see if your bridge is out of alignment. And um, that is all there is to it, although it probably looks simpler than it is. A lot of people are very afraid to move the bridge, especially first time or new players. They, but believe me, you're not going to break anything. Uh, but if you're still too skittish to be moving the bridge around, then try practicing just... Uh, Try and hear the difference between the harmonic and the fretted. Harmonic. And see if you can hear any difference if the fretted is flat or sharp in relation to the harmonic. Is there harmonic? And the fretted is just a hair flat, but that's okay. They, you could go, you could uh, drive yourself a little nuts trying to get these two exactly alike, but that's pretty close, and that's enough for banjo. That'll hold a tune now, and um, that's really all there is to it. You won't break anything, so if you're feeling adventurous, give it a shot.